Welcome Park Facebook group to our tip of the week. This week, our tip of the week is going to be a little bit different in that we had to pre-record this one. But our tip of the week, it's around Park Self-Help website. It's a section dedicated to you park machine owners. It's got information that can really help you keep your machine running, get it back running, and sometimes faster than what, what it would take to call us here at Park. Um, with me today, I have Nate Lommel. He leads our technical support group. And I have Clint Voller, who leads our training department. We're going to teach you how to use the self-help website so you can quickly navigate to the documents that you may need. Nate, say you owned a Titan 2700. You just purchased the high flow water kit. How would you go try to find installation instructions for that kit? Sure. Simple enough, Joe. I'll show you here. Thank you for the introduction. I'm going to the parkindustries.com website. From here, there are three different ways to access those guides. So I'm gonna maybe just kind of highlight those three areas. One being on the very top of our screen, you can see there's a link here for service and training guides. Um, also can scroll down to the very bottom of the page, um, get down here a little ways. There will be a link um, down here in the very bottom, kind of service guides. There again, linking you to the same spot. Um, there really is no difference as far as the content you're gonna to get to. Uh, just kind of highlighting the different ways to access that and I know some web browsers do display things a little bit differently so you have those options if you get to your browser and it looks a little differently so right now I am in the call it the main section of our service and training guides from here a couple different ways we can access or filter down for what we're looking for um, Joe you had mentioned Titan water flow kits um, what I'm going to do is maybe kind of show you a, diff or a couple different little routes, how we can go to get there. First one I'm going to do is select by call it product model. Um, so obviously with our water kits, we're looking for a CNC router. So I can simply check that. Then it will display the different models of routers that we have. So we're going to jump right to say the Titan um, series, but you can see we have different series there. So let's say I have a Titan 2800. I can select that um, and then I'll Come down here a little bit on the bottom, hit submit for my search filters. You can see it'll display 36 results and the various content that match that, but you can see a couple down here, right here is my high flow water kit install guide. Um, so I can click on that, go in there, but I'm gonna back up just a second to show you maybe another way of finding those results that you wanna do. So what I'm gonna do here first is reset my filters, kind of clear everything I did already. Um, what I'm going to do this time is maybe a little differently. Let's say I'm just, I know it's water. Um, simply type in the word water. I hit enter, which is basically the hit, same as hitting submit on the bottom. You can see it actually came to the very top of our list now. So different combinations or variations of way of finding what you need in this, this website. So from here, I'm going to enter into my, my install procedure. Where we're going to get here is a quick kind of a, a safety acknowledgement or disclaimer, making sure that if your um, programmers or operators or maintenance personnel are performing these tasks, they're safe. They know how to disable the machine if need be. So I'm going to acknowledge that. Um, you can see with our, our um, guides here, we do try to indicate a skill level as according from one to three, one being the easiest, two moderate, and three being a little bit more complex. So that way, whoever's performing these tasks, can get an idea of how complicated what they are and roughly a time involved in completing that task. So basically, as you can see here, we've got the instructions laid out, um, the parts kits, um, kind of laying everything out to get started. But from here, would guide me through that install um, for the high wa excuse me, high flow water kit. Wonderful, Nate. Hey, for our water jet users out there, say I had a Sabrejet XP. Um, well, if I was having overcycle alarms, do we have a document and how would you get there for that? Sure. There again, um, as I showed earlier, a couple different ways of searching, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in over stroke here in my word search, hit submit. And there again, first one that pops up, um, overcycle alarms, overstroke alarms. So you can see I got a couple of them here. Um, take a peek at this one. There again, we get our safety acknowledgement. Um, and there again, we can kind of see what to look for and type of that alarm. And now this one can cover kind of a broad range of things to check. Overstroke alarms can be caused by various things, but this guy would walk me through those things to check and how to check them. That way I could maybe solve this issue 
versus having to call in. Maybe I don't get very good cell phone reception in the shop or hard to hear. So it's an easy way to just kind of have the guys in the shop access some information. And note also, this is a mobile friendly website. So if somebody's doing this with a cell phone walking around the shop, it's easy to format and, and see on that mobile device. Very good, Nate. Thanks for uh, letting us know. I was just thinking about if you know you had an iPhone and Android, having to carry around an iPad, whatnot. That's helpful. Um, I know we have some training stuff out there. Uh, Clint, do you want to talk a little bit, and maybe Nate can show what we have available on the training side of things? Sure, sounds good, Joel. So the videos that we have on here are actually the same videos. So anybody who may have came to park for training, it's the same videos that we'll use in our class. We also are adding more extensive videos too for a uh, little bit harder techniques that we may not train uh, in the main classes. So Nate, if you could for me, could you go on the upper left corner for the search field, type in ITM, and then do the operation and programming checkbox. Okay. Hit submit. So for as far as the training videos, all of our videos are under that operation checkbox that Nate did. So the first uh, sheet that shows up is the actual printable ITM sheet. So if you ever need the same sheets that were in your training manual from your Titan Ops class, that's where you can get those sheets to print off. Nate, go ahead and click on the second uh, option there. Again, we get the same warning message as if it's a service uh, document. So here now with training, we have a few documents, but most of our stuff is actually going to be a video. So as you see, the first part here is just uh, understanding the R values, how to fill out our worksheets. Go ahead and scroll down a little bit further, Nate. Uh, third, our second video is just entering that information into the actual machine. And then the last thing is on the part three is actually going through uh, running the ITM. So again, this is made where you could potentially self teach yourself at your shop with these videos, or it's a nice refresher from when you came to training. You may not have ran a tool in a month or two, and you, this will easily get you caught up on, on an R value you might be stuck on. Perfect. Thanks, Clint. Um, as long as we're here, I'm going to maybe point out to our audience that um, we definitely love your feedback on these guides. So if there's something missing, um, any type of new guide you would like us to do, we do have a little section on the bottom left here. Um, leave guide feedback. Um, so if a guy was helpful or missing there again, if you have ideas or suggestions for guys that do not exist today, please let us know. Wonderful, Nate. And uh, Clint, um, lastly, Nate, what about machine manuals? If uh, you lost your hard copy, don't know where the digital copy of the manual is, is that something we house out at this self-help website? Great question, Joe. Absolutely. Um, and this is relatively new for us. Um, we've kind of gone to the path of putting all operator manuals on our website. Uh, this way, everybody has access to the most current revisions or any changes that we do. So to simply ask, access those on our left side search pane, uh, we can go into the manuals. I'm just gonna kind of select manuals as an all and hit submit. You can see here, we can kind of go into each manual from there. Again, this is basically a PDF copy. Um, that is housed on our, our network, but it is the most current version and up to date. So whether the manual changes, we can get you quick access to those uh, revisions or updates for every manual. Um, currently what we've got on here is all the manuals for our current project, uh, sorry, products. Um, we are starting to add into those existing products, um, going back to some legacy stuff. So there again, all our manuals are online, easy access for everybody to get. Wonderful. Well, thanks for showing that, Nate. Again, it seems to me that this self-help website is really about our customers, and, and you guys seem to be populating it with the questions and documents that solve problems of, based on what you're hearing from, from the customers, either calling in on the support line, emailing us, or in training, asking questions, Clint, uh, in your case. Thank you, Park Facebook Group. We appreciate your time today. Hopefully you found a lot of value in this Facebook Live on how to use our self-help website. Again, use the comment section below to let us know what you might wanna see in the future. Or if there's documents, you can either enter them out on the, out on the self-help website or in the comments below, we'll gladly start to add them to that. Thank you and have a great day.